So last week I was <clears throat> talking to my guitar teacher and he suggested that I consider making some videos that um, in which I would comment on current events in metal or in music. And uh, I was... Um, I was kind of like, you know, who's gonna, who cares really about my opinion? You know, what, what, who am I to comment on anything? Um, and I still think that. But um, yesterday, World Dane died, and World Dane was one of my favorite creative people in metal. Um, probably my second favorite vocalist overall, behind Hansi Kirsch in Blind Guardian. But I think World Dane was probably the most unique vocalist in metal. I mean, I don't think I... I can't think of anybody who, like, even sounds a little bit like Worrell. Um, so... I thought, um... This would be the... The... If, if, if any... If some topic were something that would inspire me to... To talk about it, this would be definitely one of them. Unfortunately. <clears throat> so, I've seen a lot of other people make some, you know, sincere tribute videos and so on, and I guess I'm just adding to that, but um, Nevermore is definitely one of my favorite bands ever, and World is probably the reason. Um, although I love Jeff Loomis, and he's one of my biggest influences as a guitar player, I think the th thing that really made Nevermore stick out was was World Dane's just haunting vocals. Um, <clears throat> so one odd thing about me that most of you may not know is that I used to want to be a clean singer before I started to scream for Viminal. And it actually, it made me sort of delay doing a lot of things f in terms of my band, what ended up becoming Viminal for a long time because I wanted to get better at singing. And I took lessons in high school, and I ended up taking some in college later. But <clears throat> I wanted to be a singer. And I had, like, I really have just, like, three big influences in terms of clean singing. Bahanzi, um, um, Matt Barlow, Iced Earth, and uh, Ashes of Aries and other things. And World Dane. <laughs> and World Dane was the most to me, like, the least replicable of those of those three guys. All amazing singers, but Warl Dane's voice was, like, just... Not even just, like, better. It was just, like, so different. And uh, I remember talking to a friend. Uh, we were going to... Uh, we were going to a concert. What were, who were we going to see? Um, shit, I don't remember. Anyway, we were driving to this show, and we started talking about Nevermore, and we both just agreed how, how good Warl Dane's voice was. And the word that came to mind was, is his voice is tragic. It, it sounds like a, like an Edgar Allan Poe story. Like the timber, the tone, his execution sounds so tragic and, and yet powerful. Um, it reminds me almost of Cormac McCarthy's writing. Um, and, um... Just a few days ago, I was listening to Enemies of Reality in my car. The like the actual C. I have I, I have other Nevermore stuff, but I have I think almost everything that ever, Nevermore has ever put out on physical media. But I was listening to Enemies of Reality just two days ago, the day before World Dane passed, and I was just like, God damn it, he's so fucking good, and I can't wait for them to get back together. I remember when Nevermore broke up in like 2010, I read some interview where World Dane said, it's going to be hard to replace Jeff Loomis. And the implication to me was that, okay, they'll eventually just kind of work things out and get back together. I mean, it, it sort of is like the main band for a lot of these dudes, you know, um, Worrell and Jeff and others. <coughs> Van, um, anyway. And I was just like, I can't wait for them to get back together. And um, because I've never seen them. I've, I've never actually seen War fucking Nevermore play live, and now I can't. God damn it. 
and the one of the other things that strikes me about Warl Dane is that he had like sort of three epochs of his music career. So he had Sanctuary in the eighties and like Sanctuary is like if you if you they're not obviously not one of the bigger sort of thrash or speed metal bands from that era, but they are definitely like noteworthy. So he had that. Then he had obviously a shitload of success with Nevermore and then had a solo career. And his solo stuff is really good. Um, I, I remember checking out Praises to the War Machine for the first time and thinking this is not going to be that great, basically because I just assume every solo record by somebody is just kind of like, I don't know, it's going to be cheap. But it was really well done. Um, you can really... You really... <laughs> feel like that tragic aspect of worlds not only music musicianship but his perhaps his personality um especially if you look at um the music video for brother yeah it's just so many of his lyrical themes are are sort of sad in a way they're somber they're tragic and you you can almost see it on him sometimes and it, perhaps it's fitting then that not fitting, but unfortunately fitting, maybe would be the way to say it, that he passed away in the middle of making a record at a fairly young age. Um, um, so anyway, he had these like three epochs, which I think is so cool because most musicians don't even have one, but they have maybe have one and they sort of fizzle out or something. But he had really high quality music in all three um, aspects of his career the sanctu sanctuary stuff nevermore and his solo stuff um, and different stuff too it wasn't just the same same old thing every time um, <clears throat> so so yeah I just felt like sharing this um, because world Dane was definitely one of my biggest musical influences and someone I would just like I, I was really in awe of um, in terms of what he could do musically um, so it it this is this you know we've had a lot of like music musician deaths in the last year or two but for some reason this one sort of struck me the most um, I think just be I mean it made sense to me like it's the world was the the person I was most connected to musically the of, of all the musicians that have passed like probably the person I've definitely the person I listen to the most I mean Nevermore is in probably my top five favorite bands so I listen to I listen to them a lot <clears throat> so um shit man really sucks and I am not happy about it uh cause I think I felt like he had a lot more I, I, I was hoping he had a lot more music in him and that we'd be able to experience that. I hope whatever he has done on his second solo album is somehow released. And I'm sure every fan sort of feels that way right now. <clears throat> so, yeah. Rest in peace, world. <laughs>